Hello, gentlemen. My name is Justin Jeffers. I'm the founder of J Butler Shoes. J Butler is a men's loafer and leather good company. We offer loafers like you see here, penny loafers, bit loafers, tie loafers in a number of different colors, including ostrich and alligator. The purpose of today's video is going to be to kick off our multi-part video series on shoe care. We're gonna cover everything from how to clean suede shoes, how to clean and polish cow and calf skin, alligator and ostrich leather care, salt stain removal, all that stuff. If you don't see something covered that you wanna hear about or that you wanna learn about or that you just want our take on, please comment on this video, send us an email at help at jbutler.com, send us a DM at jbutlershoes on Instagram or post on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you guys. To provide you with a little context on what you see here on the countertop, we're gonna talk a little bit about the loafers you see and then also, of course, the shoe care products that you see, all of which are on offer on our website at jbutler.com. Over here, we have our Saphir shoe care products. I use and recommend almost solely Saphir products. They are the best in the business. There's really not many people who will argue with that. We have our Renamat, which is a cleaning agent. We have our Saphir Cream, which is a kind of restorative agent. Omnidame, which is a wonderful suede cleaning product. We have different creams here. We have a medium brown, which we can use to restore the pigmentation on shoes, and then a neutral color, uh, which adds a little bit of shine and it helps restore the leather. Then of course we have a wax polish, which you can use to get a slightly brighter shine than the creams. And this is a neutral, but you can of course use black and brown shades as well. Moving over here to the tool section, for suede, we have a suede eraser for hardier stains on suede. And then of course we have a suede brush. We have a dauber brush, which you can use to apply creams to the leather, and then a buffing brush to dust off the shoes, to clean them, and to bring out the shine using cream and waxes. We also have a applicating cloth and then a buffing cloth, which you can again, like the buffing brush, use to bring up the shine. This is what you use when you really wanna bring up a bright, bright shine. Lastly, we have, of course, shoe trees. You're gonna see featured in this video and in the subsequent videos, a few different loafers from us. And I wanna give you a little context to what we have there. We have our Milbank bit loafer, which is kind of our power loafer. You'll see the metal bit across the vamp. We have the silver and the gold bit version. Almost no one else offers that shoe in the two different bit colors. And then we offer it in more colors than anyone else in the world, I think. We have everything from brown and black alligator and ostrich to suede in red and olive and brown and navy blue to of course your classic smooth leathers in light brown, dark brown and black. Next, we have our Cromwell Penny Loafer, which is our classic American penny loafer. You have a slight and subtle beef roll here. You have the hand sewing, you have the nice leather sole. This is just a classic, classic shoe. Does not get much more classic than that. Again, we offer it in a number of different colors of suede, alligator, full grain leathers in black and dark brown and all that stuff. Lastly, we have our Shipley Tie Loafer, which is kind of our fun, nonchalant, Italianized loafer. We took the upper of a driving shoe, paired it with the leather sole and the heel to give it some more durability and a little different look that we offer that in a few different shades of brown. I love that shoe. That's actually the first shoe that I designed when designing the line for Jay Butler. It will always have a place in my heart. A couple other things set our shoes apart from a lot of the shoes you see out there. The first is a slightly shorter vamp. I don't like the long vamps. The vamp is, by the way, the piece of leather that covers the top of the foot. A lot of shoes out there now have a really long vamp. It covers a lot of your foot. I just don't think it flatters the foot. It's not a good look. The proportions are off, the ratio is off, so I shortened that up a little bit. Look back at some of the loafers you saw 20, 30, 40 years ago, maybe even further back. They all had a slightly shorter vamp. I think it's a beautiful ratio, and it pairs very well with the next thing which is a nice, sleek, elegant sole. The sole is super soft, it's super supple. The shoes are designed to be comfortable, wearable, and soft wearing right out of the box. Very minimal break-in period. When designing these and selecting the leathers for the upper and the leather for the sole, I wanted these shoes to feel like a slipper in the sense of the flexibility, but to provide a little more durability, obviously, and also a little more structure and support for the foot. The other things that are worthy of noting, of course, are the hand sewing detail across the vamp. This is a very unique, specific, hard to learn skill. It takes people months and in some cases many years to really perfect it. And it provides a really beautiful, classic, traditional look to our loafers. The shoes are also moccasins, which means that this whole upper part here on the sides and underneath, it's one piece of leather. It's harder to make that because you need a larger piece of leather that doesn't have blemishes. But the resulting look and feel of the shoe is something that's streamlined, it's elegant, it's masculine, it's beautiful. 
So that's kind of a quick overview of our shoes. There's a lot more available on our website at jbutler.com, of course, but this is what we have here. Without further ado, let's start talking about shoe care. Let's get into the next videos. Again, what we talk about in these videos, you can use on really any other brand of shoes, as long as they're leather or ostrich or alligator. This is really about helping you guys take the best care of your shoes to get the most use and wear out of your shoes to keep them looking their best. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and the videos to come. Again, my name is Justin Jeffers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.